Let's watch the opening cinematic together here. And if you're in chat, try and act like this is the first time you've seen it and you haven't watched this multiple times while I've been trying to troubleshoot this game. So this is retelling the events of the first game. <laughs> but like in a weird, almost like a kind of Godzilla FMV moment there. Look at those graphics. The evil mother of men. I think the scariest part is that guy's weird voice. It sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for the giant scissors once again search for the pie. The trail of terror stretches across Europe from Norway to England. Uh, oh my god, I'm working really fast through my papers. Where is it? Oh, I found it. Just under the paper that has all the alimony payments that my husband's supposed to be paying me. Got to be joking. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> Who will make it through this game of murder alive? I don't know. Clock Tower. Okay, for real though, a little intro to this game. I absolutely adore this game. I think this is the best Clock Tower game. Uh, but I think it got kind of weirdly sidetracked because it had like a limited release in the West. But I think this is actually the best in the entire series myself. It's a pretty fun ride and the music absolutely slaps in this one. So I am very, very pleased to be playing some classic Clock Tower for the PS1. There are actually three Clock Towers that have come out on the PlayStation 1. One is Clock Tower The First Fear, which is the original game that's already on my channel if you're watching this. And then the second is this one. And then there's a third one called like Demon Mask, which sucks, which I will probably eventually play for YouTube as well. But we're playing the second one. Is this the moment where I realize that the intro cutscene is way louder than the actual game? Professor probably. Bart. Yep, sounds Professor about right. Bart. Professor, Bart. Professor Barton. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I okay. must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. The but voice acting. Thing, Helen. The gram fix. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. This is video gaming. Giant pair of scissors. Whoa! Replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. What the fuck was that? What was that? That was kind of creepy. Clock tower murderers. Mass murder of over 10 victims. How intriguing. Yes, how delightful. Jennifer Simpson? Don't have a cow, man. A statue, it is called. <gasps> That's the statue from the first game! Hiding some sort of sneak rit. So That's Blue Lady. She looks really angry. That's because I like traumatized the hell out of that one patient, huh? Look at Teddy Bear. A stuffed animal, a prize won at a fair. Oh, how droll. Professor Barton's a little bit more sophisticated than some teddy bear. Scissorman's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things, not like me. I'm a professor, don't you know? Here's Danny, a newspaper reporter. That's gonna be trouble. Listen to that dot matrix printer in the background. It'd be cool if you were real. Danny, please. People have died. Have a little professionalism. Danny over here is on his like true crime podcast bullshit. Ooh, ooh what's this? A memo. Oh, always with the memos. Hint number one. Ooh, I find a hint. Save okay! Unz, 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 Therapy bed. Yeah, not when you're using it. Professor Barton. It's more like a torture bed. Jennifer's like, it's really traumatic, and Professor Barton's like, what do you know about Scissor Man? God, I love PlayStation 1 graphics. The way that the textures just kind of around as I move. It's great. I love it. I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer- Are you supposed to be holding a camera? Anyway, so they're holding their invisible camera and their invisible microphone because they work for like a fake newspaper, I guess. It's like a children's newspaper or something. The victim's testimony lacks credibility. Damn, you're really cruel, aren't you? 
Oh, a cruel bastard. We asked her for an interview, but she refused. Well, yeah. She's been through a traumatic experience. She's not just like an actor looking to give like a press interview. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man. And whether he really exists. Well, obviously he exists. Haven't you played Clock Tower the First Fear, Nolan? You call yourself a real survival horror fan, Nolan? Please. Oh, you played Resident Evil back in 1996. Yeah, who hasn't, Nolan? Professor, the boy that survived the Clock Tower murders is here. There should be no 10-year-old boy. I didn't see that in the first game. I still need to get an expert opinion on the statue. Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. There was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris? So this is the first choice. This game has choices in it. I'm gonna say... No. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, Harris. Kiss me. Kiss me, you beautiful man. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh I have to click on them. <laughs> it's the way he walks up to them. I was like, oh, sorry, the game will just do this for me. But no, it's just kind of like... Look at this little dandy boy here. Shouldn't you be selling newspapers on the street corner of foggy London town or something? I'm Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he lost all his memory from the traumatic experience of his being murdered almost. I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very awkward. Can you answer some simple questions for me, Edward? No. Honestly, just, just spill the tea, all right? Edward, spill the tea, Haney. If you have to pop off, sis, then that is so valid. So this is Jennifer from the first game. She's doing okay. She made it, chat. Where shall I go? Norway International Hotel, the Oslo Weekly Newspaper Company, the Municipal Library, the University Research Building, or the University Staff Housing. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. He's a very naughty boy. Is this boy Edward? Is this ugly child here related to you at all? Are you by chance Jennifer? Uh, damn right. Look at my look at my final girl sweater slash cardigan I'm wearing, okay? Obviously I'm Jennifer. My name is Kay. Kay's cooking? Oh god. The Granite Orphanage. I began after you left. I was gonna say Jennifer would recognize that name surely, and that's where she was before. Say hello, Edward. Edward, you have the shortest little Victorian boy shorts I've ever seen. So he's lost his memory from the shock. Speaking with you might jog his memory. I mean Yeah, let's reminisce about my trauma. Good old Jennifer. I will come as often as I can. She's a good lass, isn't she, really? Well, bye. Fun fact about Norway, it's fucking cold and we wear shorts about two days of the year. Yeah, story checks out. Look at those graphics. Holy shit, the future is now and we're looking at it. Look at the distinct lack of shading over most of the buildings. Hello, Jennifer. I was also modeled by Nvidia. Did you come to check? Did you come to check out a book or something? That's rather droll, don't you think, Mr. Sullivan? You're as cute as ever, how is Helen? Oh, I don't like you already. Already not feeling your vibes, Mr. Sullivan. If I add to my collection again, do you want to come see? No! I really don't. Stop calling me cute. Drop in for a visit anytime. Damn, keeping busy, huh? So that's all, I just say hi and that's it. I seem to recall that sometimes you need to have weird little conversations like that to get different routes in this game, though. It's like surprisingly influential. University Research Building. Wow! Look at those lampposts! It's like looking at a real lamppost. It's like I'm really at the building. What's up, girlfriend? Let's get some shells. Actually, I don't think that's Helen's personality at all. She's actually a little bit more... Uh... Demure. She's gonna be a bit late tonight. What, with a hot date? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. Wow, that's not very sexy at all, actually. <laughs> I was hoping Helen had something better to do with her time, but that kind of sucks. Someone is in front of the house. Oh, that's... University staff housing. I'm sorry. Is this gentleman inside my room? You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Why is it playing this Final Fantasy 8 ass music in the background? What do you say to having dinner with me? My goodness, you're forward. I don't care what you tell me. I just want you... to talk. <laughs> Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? He's like, ¿Por qué no los dos? Oh, now he's all shy. Uh, both! All right then, tee hee, let's go! Jennifer's all- Jennifer's doing all the tee hee? What's this? Tee hee. Sir? Madam? Wait, Jennifer's supposed to be 15 in this? Oh god, really? 
Can we all just collectively age her up, please, so this doesn't feel as awkward? <gasps> oh. Scandinavia living. Well, of course, it's Norway, right? They have to have a Scandinavia living. Oh my god, he's What's hideous! Wrong? Help! Someone is following me! Hmm, some kind of weirdo? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no! Scissor Man's got that serial killer, Rez, I tell ya. That was amazing. Also, I, the music in this game is so good. I love the chase music. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I'm going to die. Or not. Damn, it was so sudden as well. I feel like I just moved on adrenaline there, for real chat. I gotta be honest with you, sometimes when she looks at the camera, it doesn't do Jennifer a lot of favours. Like, my girl isn't looking so hot here on this, like, front view right now. This kind of, like, DMV photo front view that she's doing. It's not flattering for her, is it? Okay, Helen's lab is on the second floor. Oh, it's the b b b b b b b boys toilets oh you know one thing you can do in this game you can run up and down stairs it's like a whole new video game it's amazing the future is now my friends harris's desk there are many cut out articles on the clock tower case scattered all over it there's even a picture of me here okay that's a little weird that's a little weird oh this is a game where if you have a key and you click on the right door the character automatically uses it thank you thank goodness <laughs> Um. Mm. Ooh, I got chills from that. Chills from that sound effect. It's actually just a Japanese flag. That's not blood, it's actually just the, the red circle in the middle of the Japanese flag. Oh, I'm going to do the final girl squat. And the final girl... Vomit on the floor. Can you not take this pole out? No. Is there something under the bed? I've had it with laying on this bed. To hell with this bed, I say. Yeah, did you notice that the scissors replica is gone? I know. Mind equals blown. What does it all mean, chat? A copier with a built-in fax machine. Maybe that was the thing making all the noise earlier. Oh. Hello, the 90s called. You've got a fax. Is it going to just do like a print out of Scissor Man? Someone is sending a fax. Get ready. I'm coming to get ya. <laughs> I'm coming to get ya. Scissor Man sent me a fax. Scissor Man inside the building has sent me a fax saying that he's coming to kill me. This has got to be the most 90s horror, survival horror video game ever made. I think I love Scissor Man now. Yeah, he's so edgy. He's so twisted. I could never understand the dark recesses of his mind. Hello. You have reached Helen. I'm not home right now. God damn it. Please leave a message after the tone. Oh my god, Helen is a serial killer and he's trying to chase me and he sent me a fax and it was really weird and it's kind of creepy and I'm really freaking out right now. I thought Scissor Man was in there. Of course. Where else would he be? He sent you a fax and then he went to go take a dump in the third floor toilets, that's right. Now see, that type of urinal in there, I don't mind. It's the urinal that is basically just a long metal trough that I mind, chat. Because if you're downstream from another guy, it doesn't feel great. And if somebody else is downstream from me, it also doesn't feel great. Uh-oh. Anyway, hold that thought. Because here's the lad. Oh my god, the computers say kill on them. I forgot that this is the greatest video game ever made. For real. This is the best video game. Am I supposed to be listening out for like snippety snap sounds? Or are we just supposed to cat jam to this amazing music? Oh! Shit! Oh no! I really screwed the pooch on this one! Cheese it!
Everybody's just having a great time actually in there. Oh god, why did I come in here? Can I hide under a desk maybe? Shit. I think this is a really bad room to be in. Oh! Let me out! Oh god. Oh, okay, but- <laughs> Ah, you're dead. I think there was like a button mashing thing, but I don't know if I mashed correctly. Um... You can't touch me, I'm using the elevator. <laughs> what? That can't work. Hang on a minute, this is ridiculous. Okay, here we go. I'm coming to get ya! Very slowly. Oh no, the door shut. What a nuisance. And that's it. <laughs> oh, really? So the door's quietly shut on him? He was like, well, rats, foiled again. Oh hey, thanks for not helping me out earlier, buddy. Hey you. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. <gasps> oh. Looks like he's been cut off. Uh, if you like jokes, please feel free to follow and subscribe. An emergency ladder? Ooh. It's locked, so I guess I c it can't be used in an emergency either. The amount of violations in this building, Jennifer. No wonder she's raging. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do next now. I got the ladder key, but I'm not sure where that's supposed to go. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Why is this one in my inventory? Oh no. You know what that music means, don't you? Here he comes. I think I can use the key on this. Maybe. No? What? No! Oh god! What do I do? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm, I'm panicking! Okay, I'm pressing circle this time, and I'm dead. Where am I gonna hide in here? I don't think I thought about this, huh? <gasps> oh, she's gonna- she's chosen violence! Let's go, Jennifer! Do I have to click on him, or will she just do it? Ugh. Oh, it's just like that time with the pesticide! Shoot him with a gun. I feel like that might be slightly not in keeping with the spirit of things, Sumerian. I think that kind of somewhat goes against, you know, the, the spirit of the whole thing. From way up here, is it safe? Whoa! This is kind of cool. It'd be a real shame if he, like, appeared at the bottom of this ladder, huh? Or at the top. This is why you need more than one sound effect recorded for when a character does something in a video game. Uh, 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 uh. What the fuck is going on? We haven't even solved the last case yet and now there's another mass murder? Hey, it's not my fault. Look at Helen's face here. She looks like Squidward. Scissor Man is back. He's back, baby. He's more deadlier than ever. What's with all this victim blaming? It's like people are pissed off that I'm being hunted. I love that pink coat you're wearing, or whatever this is. I don't know what you would describe this as, but it looks very fashionable, Helen. Do you remember that statue? The one that they found at the scene of the clock tower murder? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Did he not tell you? Called away on some police business. Hmm. I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library. One love for the mother's pride. One love. I'm gonna stay alive. One love. I'm gonna call up Rick and it's just gonna be like, We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. Maybe Nolan knows. Jennifer. Yes? Who is Nolan? Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, mm. Anyway. Helen's like, hmm, who's this Nolan character? And why do you look so happy when you talk about him, huh? Oslo Week Newspaper Company. 
There's a lot of like weirdly zoomed in shots of buildings in this game, huh? Jennifer, you're right. If only I had a big strong man there to protect me, Nolan. Nah, fuck that. Jennifer can protect herself, let's be real. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes. Uh, have you got a gun? A man named Rick. Golden Cock Terror Case. I was just going to interview him. Well, then we can go together. Used to be a butler for the Barrows family. Well, now the whole crew is going to be visiting Rick, aren't they? Do you want to ask Nolan? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? You can count on me. Uh, cheers. Scenario 2, Nolan Campbell. Naomi Campbell. Lovely house you've got here. Um, so how about them Nicks, huh? Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? I mean, we are in Europe, so of course there's like a million castles around this little town. Or in England. You're always within walking distance of three castles at any one time. Is there something in the castle? A monster. Terrorize the local children. Not the adults, just the kids. What happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. This is the deepest dive into the lore. This guy's very helpful. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to him. It'd be a real shame if something was to happen to this man. I was given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion. Yes, what wonderful times they were, except for... <laughs> oh, I can't imagine, I can't believe that happened. Damn. Who could have foreseen the chandelier falling on the old man like that? <sighs> oh, I am just shocked, I tell you. All right, we gotta cheese it. Ah! What the fu- What? He's cracked. He's absolutely cracked. How'd you get in there? This little gremlin. It's got all sorts. I'm crushed, but not as much as that guy. Ayo. Is this a walk in shower slash bath? Very fancy. I must have got paid well at that mansion or that castle. Uh oh. Shh, shh, shh. Stop breathing so loudly. <laughs> owned. What a punk. What a jabroni. Oldest trick in the book. Some detergent and other cleaning supplies. This could be used to blind someone. Oh, Nolan, now you're thinking with your noggin. Good job. I don't think Scissor Man is in here. Yes, that would be preposterous if he was. Where is he? Inside the tumble dryer? Box full of canned goods. We're like a few paint cans away from setting up home alone traps against scissor man. Would canned goods do the trick, perhaps? What about this creepy mask over here? A wooden mask is on the wall, a souvenir. Something is written on it. This is the location of Barrow- The location of Barrow's castle has been written on a mask. You've now confirmed the location of the Barrow's castle. But at what cost? Whoa, look at these gram fix. It's like they're really coming at me. Am I supposed to be clicking on something here? Uh oh. Why did I get the feeling I'm supposed to be doing something here? Huh? Oh! No! <laughs> God damn it! I was like just about to click on the right thing there. I got hit on the side of the head by a chair and it killed me. Are you joking? It seems like you're supposed to pick this thing up. 
But then you're not supposed to click on the chair. Maybe this thing. What? Oh, there we go. Oh, that, now it works. Ugh. I swear I moused over that before and it just didn't change. Oh, fucking scissor bastard's coming back again, isn't he? I was gonna say twice in a row. No way. See you later. There's no way he's gonna work this out. Come on now. No way. Um. Um. Okay, we're fine. As long as I don't sneeze in here, we're fine. God, this house is so noisy. You would never be able to hide from a serial killer in this house. It's insanely loud. There seems to be something inside. Well, what is it? Oh, it's the idol. That was easy. A small statue about 30 centimeters tall. The statue that Jennifer was talking about. Yes, it's from the first game. Is there something under the pillow? A Bible? Apparently his god didn't protect him. Wow. Rather droll, don't you think, Nolan? Newspaper articles about Yossi's incident. He must have known something. About the scissor man. Well, he didn't know that he was about to get owned by him, did he? He should have taken karate lessons or something. Developed cat-like reflexes. A sofa with the stylish pattern. Nolan is just living for this house, I tell ya. Uh. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, Jesus! God, he knows how to make an entrance, doesn't he? Um. I was kind of hoping there would be something to click on in this room, but... I ain't getting a lot, am I? Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, Nolan! Oh, holy shit! Nolan! You just absolutely clocked him! Clock towered him, you could say. Ayo. Hiding under the bed. It's a little cliche, don't you think? Oh my god. What is this? What is this? <laughs> that was so lame. He's like, oh no, please don't put a little blankie on me. Oh, I'm too comfortable to chase you anymore. Uh... Wait, what's this thing? An intercom? Hey, stop chasing me, you prick. Oh, here we go. Outback Rex dog is glaring. Oh, the dog looks mad with beard fangs. So I'm guessing if I try and leave here, the dog will eat me. Can I get him some treats from the kitchen, maybe? Maybe a bullet? I've done a quick save here, just in case. <gasps> Puppy! How can you say that this dog is like a vicious serial killer? Look at it. How are you? How are you? Oh no! Oh no! Not kawaii! Uh, powder soap? Oh, I don't want to blind it. Seems cruel. Take this! Oh, Nolan! That sucks. Uh, it had to be done. Uh, you know what? I'm already over it. <laughs> it had to be done. All right, Nolan. Skizzer man was after him. Rick was killed. Oh yeah, he had a chandelier dropped on him. He was almost convinced that I was the murderer. So he thinks that you murdered someone and then reported it. After the fact. He self-reported, like Among Us. The Barrow's family castle. I think the castle is in England. Disgusting. Do you want to go? Not really. It may be safer there. He wouldn't follow us to England. Hmm. Well, if the murders start happening in England when you go over there though, he's definitely gonna think you're up to something. I would love to see the scissor man. If you can see the scissor man, you're having a bad time. I will accompany you as well. No, 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 no thanks. You too, Jennifer. You are an important witness in the case. Well, like, I'm not gonna just stay here and wait to get murdered. All right, prof. This is rather casual, don't you think? What am I gonna say to my boss? Smell you later. Catch you on the flip side. As long as I ain't made a goat. Don't worry, assistant professor Gotts. In the future, being the goat is a good thing. All right, we're gonna tell Kay's cooking here that we're off. We're gonna tell Kay and Scissor Man. I mean, uh, Edward, that we're off. Well, hello, Jennifer. Why are you still here? Go home. Look at my face. 
Look at Jennifer's face. This is a castle in England, and it's called the Barrows Castle. And the Barrows used to live there. No shit, really? Helen and I are off on a gal uh, Galentine's Day trip. Is that a good idea? Hell no. Absolutely not. I'll go with you, Jennifer. You are a child. May I go with you? No, Edward Scissorhands. He's even called Edward. Edward Scissorhands. Hello? Hello, is this thing on? Is anybody listening to me? <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. Get it? Uh, uh, Tim. Tim, can you crouch down a little for the camera? Oh. Tim doesn't like flying. That was a great converse. <laughs> Did somebody do that cutscene in, like, their lunch break? I heard you're going to the Barrows Castle in England. How do you know that? Gossip spreads fast in Norway. That guy, Nolan. Excuse me, he's not just that guy. We're going with you too. The whole of Norway's coming over to England. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely redonkulous. This little Norway, Norwegian town is going to be empty. Look at these Oslo Airport gram fix. The future is now. I am bowled away at the gram fix. Whoa! They even have Glasgow on the map. Let's go. The sun is going down. This is what it looks like in England. All of England. Surprisingly flat in England. It'll be dangerous to move about in the dark. Oh, I'm moving about. What are you going to do? This is England as viewed through that filter that they always apply to the English countryside to not make it look so depressing. Have you seen Harrison? Are you just peeing in the bushes? No, oh, no. Jennifer is missing too. You have half of a camper van here. Last scenario, scissor man. Uh-oh. <laughs> I wonder what happens in the castle. Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. Harris? Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. <laughs> oh, scissor man's got a very palatable Where voice. I just thought it would be totally awesome to pretend to be he a serial killer. That if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. What? He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. To me. Jennifer. No, no, don't come any closer. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> That was a whole thing. That that was a, a, a weird, that's a weird plot line, honestly. You could always try buying her flowers next time. Oh, he's snippity snapping. Oh, let's go. Final girl energy, Jennifer. What's this, Uwu? A note, oh, this game is obsessed with notes. Maybe Helen or Professor Barton can read it. You don't have foreign note. If I recall, like, a lot of the game and what happens in it is all on this chapter. Like, this is definitely the chonkiest chapter. A chapel, but it looks different from the ones I know. I mean, a lot of chapels aren't in castles, so you could somewhat forgive that, you know? Oh my god. There are stars drawn on the plate. You don't have star plate. Oh, she just straight up just took that off the wall? Are you insane? She's- she's just looting. Really. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. A large candle. You now have the candle. Instruments of torture. They look painful. Yeah, no shit. Inspector Glass. Ah, he's kind of an ass anyway, let's be real. He was kind of annoying. Oh my god, am I about to turn the machine back on again? A keyhole. I don't really have a keyhole, do I? There's also an Iron Maiden right beside you. Iron Maidens creep me the fuck out. Ever since I watched Matilda, I was like, nope. Never want to be near one of those, frankly. Uh oh. Oh fuck. I'm gonna put him in the torture devices in a minute. You're such a pain. How'd you get in there? Wherever I'm at. Deuces. I'm gonna wait for him to come in here. 
Oh, you're gonna hide behind the books? I thought you were gonna push them on him. Come on now, Jennifer. You know what to do. Yeah, look at this jabroni. Oh, and <laughs> I want to be a final girl in a horror movie. It looks like fun. You know, apart from, you know, maybe getting murdered. The Virgin Mary holding a very ugly baby. How spooky. Something in the pocket. Yes. All right, let's go. I'll be the one that brought food. Yeah, and then eats the food. Staircase. I wonder where it leads. Well, if it's away from the torture room, it's probably not a bad idea. I think if I was in a horror movie, I'd be the Cassandra. I'd work out what was going on kind of quickly, but then I would tell everybody in like a really annoying way, and then I would die. They'd be like, oh, he was right, but also I'm kind of glad that he's dead all the same. Or I would just like get the hell out of Dodge immediately and be of no help to anyone, like a complete coward. A cosmetics box. It looks very old. I seem to vaguely recall something about this stupid box. It's like a- it's like a big thing that you open this eventually. To get the true final one ending. Or whatever. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> Why are you in a painting? This is getting comical. This is getting ridiculous now, Scissor Man. For goodness sake. There we go. Oh, he knows exactly where I am. What? This guy's lazy. I get the feeling he's good at the hide part of hide and seek, but he's not very good at the seek part, you know? He's all about the hiding, less about the seeking. Yeah, quasi dingus. That's what I'm calling him. <gasps> it's a rat friend. An old yellowed newspaper. 1912. Yeah. I think that mouse ran in here. <gasps> The mouse knew the secrets. A small hole in the wall behind the table. Yeah, I now have the library key. Let's actually fucking go. Oh, well, this corridor is extremely creepy. Oh, look, you know, it's your, it's the hole room where you keep your hole. Don't you guys have a hole room? Don't fall in. It's too dark. All right, well, let's just not go down it, huh? Now this door is a weird shape, so it's gotta be important. Oh. Hello. Are you live? It's, it's you, you, Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh. Professor Barton? He has voice acting. Well done. Professor Barton would be played by... What's the name of that actor that's really hot right now? He was in The Last of Us and he was in White Lotus. He's from North Zealand. Not Pedro Pascal. Murray Bartlett. That's who would play Professor Barton. Professor Barton. Are you I'm not injured. Mm -hmm. This is an extremely important experience. For I am experiencing what you human beings call here pain. I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. You're weird. Oh, Professor Barton, I found something I would like you to look at. What does this say? Hmm. It is in Latin. Why does he talk like such a robot? Like, even by survival horror game standards, Words this is robotic. Open the door. Below that is written... Yes. Excuse me. What does it mean? No swearing, please. I don't know. It Ch means to open a door, just as it says, but it doesn't say which door. A door. Ah, fuck. Um, this is awkward because you're just sat there. Should I just leave? Maybe he's gonna play dead. Uh, this one. Uh, the closet twice? Mind you, this is rather low bed still, right? Nope. Shit. 
Chits. She's like, it's dirty in there. You can't hide in there. Oh, are you kidding me? Jennifer! Oh, nice! Let's go! Look at him wriggling around like a little insect. Add Jennifer to Dead by Daylight. She's ready. She's gonna absolutely destroy this man's career. Watch this. Kaboom! Yeah, now you look like a Skyrim NPC. <laughs> They could add Jennifer. They could add... Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Why is there a door to nowhere? This is ridiculous! This castle is half built. Okay, I'm never ever going through that door again. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Clock Tower. That was like the scariest part of this game so far for me. Poor architecture. <laughs> what is the point of that? We have a Latin spell for opening doors, but can we get a spell for... Shutting doors as well? Oh, he's gone. <gasps> oh, there's a massive book under there. Is this the Holy Bible? What the fuck? Is this like cast iron? It's made of copper. God, you can just throw that at Scissor Man. Knock him out. This is just ridiculous now. What, a haunted hand? What is this nonsense? Get- Die. Die! Kill it! Jennifer, kill it! I am mashing the buttons like crazy. Oh my god! She's like stabbing it! <laughs> Holy shit! She's kind of a badass. I'm not gonna lie. Look out, chap. Kyle's about to walk by. Oh, a box! I can hide like a cat! Oh, did you hear those- that box audio? Uh-oh. How would you- no, really? <laughs> no, come on now. I know I'm supposed to be rooting for Jennifer, but do you not think that is a little nonsensical? Do I say, like, open sesame to the drawers here? Or the shelves here? This girl, I swear to god. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen to my footsteps. Right? Listen to my footsteps. Why do they turn into wood when I get to that one part of the floor? You hear that? Aha! The floorboards are loose. Um... Open sesame? Maybe now that I've looked at that, she'll like pick up something from the other room. Like, now that the, the character knows, so to speak. Oh, here we go. A switch. I am so smart. I'm sure the fact that I played this years ago has helped slightly, but I am so... So incredibly smart. Down I go, into hell. I'm sure this won't be a problem. I'm sure it's A-OK -okay for me to be down here. Let's just drink. Something smells sour. That's alcohol, Jennifer. The barrels like to get their drink on. Well, they are, you know, English barons, I guess. <gasps> Ew! Beth inside the barrel? Inside the wine cellar? With the candlestick? A key is laying in the pool of blood. You now have the mansion key. How did she know it was Beth's finger? Is there something behind here? Or is this like a hide spot layer, perhaps? Oh, whatever. I've got the key, I guess, now. Let's just go for it. No! Ah! Ah! Hide. Oh! Uh, what?! I was bamboozled! Tricked! Oh my god, she's actually just booting him in the face. I actually love Jennifer. Please put her in DVD, for real. Oh, is that it? 
He's like, ah, well, you've kicked me in the face, so I don't feel like chasing you now. Oh, here we go. It's the great key. Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da. She's too young for DBD. Oh, yeah. I've kind of aged her up in my head because uh, I want to preserve my sanity, frankly. The metal fittings are completely rusted. Can we get some oil on that? I don't know why I keep using the oil can as if it comes with oil. Oh, what? Oh, that's rubbish, that. So you're telling me you were carrying oil in that thing the entire time? Oh, no. Please don't rumble in the corner. Should you really be opening that? Scissorman? A mummified Scissorman. The OG. He was like, I'm going to bed with my key. Don't wake me up. I don't know if I should open this. But here it goes. Oh no, it's bats! Zoo bats! What a minor... Inconvenience. Does this happen every time? What?! <laughs> this is silly. Uh, uh, God, get out of here! Can I like... Wedge the book against the door, maybe? Or you could just do that. Righto. Well, I guess that was the thing I did. I hope Scissorman isn't in this door. Uh-oh. Oh, we're kind of outside. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't know about this one. Nope. Nope. Wouldn't be doing this. Oh, I guess it's implied that I just bamboozled him. Nolan! You've been no help. Jennifer! Nolan! You're alive! Where is everyone? You're looking at know. them. <laughs> Scissorman attacked us, and everyone scattered. And then I had a party in here with all these scaly bones. They were playing music. We had a great time. Nolan! You've hurt your leg. All of the men in this castle have injured Just legs. Just a cut. I'll be all right if I rest. It's like they're running up the stairs too fast and they're injuring their legs. I need you. Nolan, I'll go. Girl boss. By yourself? B by yourself? I'll come back after I've found and killed him. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's quite nonchalant about that. Oh, no. Do you know them, Nolan? What was that? He's like, yeah, that happens sometimes. You saw them too? I've seen them a few times already. I'm getting quite they old. They are probably the I'm ghosts tired of, of the this. children killed here. Oh, so many. That's not really the first thought I would say that I would have. Like, if I saw the ghosts of, like, dead children, I wouldn't be like, wow, that's a lot. I'd be like, oh my god, fucking ghosts, what? So can I go out this door? Oh, I can. Oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse me. Oh my god, Nolan's gone. That's weird. I've never seen Nolan and Scissorman in the same room, actually, I have. Oh, this is above that other bit. Is she gonna jump? I probably shouldn't go near there. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah, ah. ah, shit. If only. <gasps> she used a key. That probably means this room is important. Oh, yeah. Is it lower time? Get one of those swords from the background and go. Some writing has been carved into the desktop. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. It means alcoholism is bad, okay? 
If you've had a dry January, why not make it a dry February? A dry 2023. Many books with covers made of sheet copper. Hmm. Hmm. You've got to be kidding me. Jennifer. Jennifer, get there quicker. I'm- oh, You have a copper book and there's a book missing! You cannot be this dense! Yes, there are scratch marks on the floor because when you put the book in the thing, it's going to move. Come on. Oh my god, she's finally done it. The last horse has crossed the finish line. Isn't this like how you leave though? At least you can run up the stairs in this game, thank god. Not like the original clock tower with the Osha Queen. Ah. It smells like something is burning. It smells like somebody's tooting over here. That ass is passing gas. Matches on the floor. Boop, 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 boop. Camera's on the floor. It's the professional camera Tim was looking using. Well, yeah, no shit. What do you think happened? Oh no, Tim? Oh no, Tim? I'm gonna use the matches on his ass. I'm gonna like strike a match off of him. Come on, there has to be something I can do here. Wait, what's this on the ground? A rope? What? Oh, for fuck's sake. What has that been there? Oh, shit. That is so hard to see. Aha. Ah, uh, there we go. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, I need the key. Okay, so it is the box key, but it's just there's more steps. Fair enough. And voila. Oh my god, it's Helen. Are you alright? Oh, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer. God, it took you a long time to work out that puzzle, huh? Jesus Christ, girl. What did they teach you in that school? Are you alright? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Helen, you're the same color as that box, the, the dress you're wearing, the suit. Is there a way out of here? I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Damn. Helen's a bit fatalistic. Well, if I've already used the rope, I'm going to try to use the match on that candlestick. And Jennifer's going to choose the dry path. That's right, no alcohol for this young lady. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're still waiting here? No wonder I haven't seen you for so long. How do I lose this dweeb? Ah, oh, shit. I don't really want to come in here just yet. Yeah, I can't do anything just now. Can I hide? Oh, don't look. Don't look. Pretend I you didn't see that. Pretend you didn't see that, please. Why do killers have to s camp slug and tunnel? Let's finally go through here. Or is it like in here, maybe? I don't fucking know. Oh, come on, scissor dick. Give it a rest, will you? Oh, she just walks out. Uh, the dry path. Why well, do you know which one is the dry path? The sun? Oh, I can't even do it right now. Oh, fuck off! I think I'm owning him. He looks owned. <laughs> he looks owned to me. <laughs> I like how it's playing this music like, will you ever work out the, the answer? The shaft keeps going all the way down. Wish me luck. Wait, this doesn't sound like the dry path. This is a wet path! No! Oh, that path was so wet. That was the wettest path ever. Oh, d d d d no! No, what are you doing? Jennifer, what are you doing? There's water at the bottom. No! This is a very wet path. And now... <laughs> I love the noise she makes. The noise she makes is so funny. That box is on the... What? 
What? There's a box on the bookshelf. How'd you get up to it? An old lambskin parchment. The Barrows family genealogy. What is this mark? Someone has been marked in red. The 13th generation. Quinton. Traitor. <gasps> you now have genealogy. Yes, I've always wanted genealogy. I've always wanted a family history. It's that easy, huh? Does this mean I have to go look at the portrait of the 13th Barrows for some reason? Okay, here we go. This looks different. Quinton Barrows. He is the 13th generation. He is a fucking liar. <gasps> a note. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. All right, Quentin. You know, I've always said that Quentin was my favorite of the Barrows. I've always been something of a Quentin stan myself. Just fucking do it. Just fucking please do it. Please do the thing I've been telling you to do the whole game. Please. What? Oh. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Oh. I wonder how we could fix that. What? 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 Excuse me? You've got to be kidding me. I died? <laughs> no. Uh, that's rubbish. That is not. I'm sorry. I have played a lot of adventure games in my time, and being eaten by a chimney is some amount of bullshit. The candle has been placed in the holder. It's a Christmas miracle. She's finally done it. And then the matches. Oh my god. Queen. Queen shit. Something is stuck on the back. A sketch of the mansion. Yeah, be careful of the chimney demon. There's a passage drawn under the fountain. Do I have to go back to the f- Oh my god, do I have to go back to the fountain? I don't want to do that. And only now does she realize that there was actually a door in the bottom of this fountain all along. No! You, are you joking? Not now. Oh, come on. Can I bean him with this? <gasps> I can bean him with this. Look at her. Crouch and wait. Ugh. Well, I've had better plans. Oh, hang on. She's moving for some reason. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Sweet. Now, see, the star plate would indicate that perhaps the star one is correct, right? Because the star is above the water. But I chose the star and she was like, no. So is it the moon? I swear to God, if you hear water. Why was it the moon? I thought it was a star plate. Why are you always lying? Moon's dry. What do you think the sun is? Do you think the sun is dripping wet? Ceremonial dagger. Totally fucking useless. Looks pretty though. Oh! 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 What is- What even are you? Are you fucking kidding me? That kills you. This game is nonsense. But also I made a quick save right here, so haha, <laughs> lol. Yeah, because every time this guy comes to get me. Oh, I just have to click on the door. Oh my god. You just have to click on the door. It's not very clear in this game what is like a cutscene and what is like a you need to click on the right thing at the right moment scene, if you know what I mean. I wish that was a little clearer. I just kind of flailed on the controller and she was like, bye. It's like, oh, she did what anybody would do, run. Okay, well, I have the dagger now. What do I do with this dagger now? Oh my god, I can't even think about it. Give it to Helen? Stab him with it? Helen, are you really- <laughs> Girl, get out of the box. It's fine. <laughs> she's so like- She's like, I don't know, if it's not a T pose, she's like an L pose. She's just so- she's like a golem. Why would- 
Why do you not click on the valve? You click on the veins above the valve. Why? 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 Would you not have it that you click the thing that you're interacting with? This is so fucking dumb. Okay, so you know, this is like the very rare complaints about this game that I have, because I love this game. But that is some absolute nonsense. Like, why would you not just click on the valve? You can see the valve, it has a graphic for a reason. So it draws your eye line. That is how visual stimuli work on human beings. Human entertainment who developed this game back in the 90s. Edward, please. Getting the tea. No, I'm a very bad boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello, the Oscar for K, please? And the Oscar for Supporting Actress goes to... My goodness. I believe that. She put her whole cussy into that performance and... Shutting that down. He's just a little lad who loves berries and cream. I'm not getting punked by you, all right? So, it was you, Edward. <gasps> it was Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward. It's Dan. <gasps> Dan? You don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Jennifer! <gasps> Nolan! Oh, get him, Nolan. Damn. Just Apply some aloe vera to that burn. Uh, what do I... Hang on. Statue? <gasps> no! No swears, please. Not on my Christian clock tower stream. Oh my god. Jennifer! It's like gravity hole. No! <laughs> gotta stab him with the dagger, right? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Queen. Alright, Nolan? Now is the time to be useful, my man. There we go. Only took him the whole game before he did something useful. Thanks. <laughs> Mama! I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Days? Days? I think it's been only a night. Nolan, you're such a drama queen. Honestly. Are we going to die like this? Calm down. Don't worry. I'm sure Helen will rescue us. Hmm. You know, you're tough. I am pretty tough. No, you're just weak. Ooh! Boom! <laughs> She's like, lucky for you, I like weak men. Helen? Jennifer! Nolan! Helen! Helen! Oh, that's a friend you can rely on. Queen. She actually managed to get out of the box to save us. She got over her weird agoraphobia that she developed when she was in the box. So beautiful. So brave. I managed to do most of what you can do in Jennifer's playthrough though, right? I don't think there's much else. I didn't feel like there was a lot of things that I looked at and was just like, oh well. You did everything? Oh, let's go. That's that... King survival horror gamer, Cinnobeats. If you like survival horror, like, comment, and or subscribe. Jennifer's ending. Ending rank A, survivor four. I mean, that that seems pretty good, right? An A? Now that's pretty good. It's not an S rank, but I'm taking that. So what, the cameraman died? 
and Beth turned into a ring and a finger. Oh, oh, diddums. Oh, diddums. Sorry, I can't save everyone. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed Clock Tower so far. Like I said, this is my favorite Clock Tower, despite the occasional 90s adventure game elements of it, such as not being able to click on the valve for the fountain until you click the vines above it. But I still love this game and all of its cheesy brilliance. And there's a lot of different ways that you can actually escape from chases. I feel like I accidentally kind of got through the first area really quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching and do consider checking out the Patreon if you want to support YouTube content like this in the future. Take care, this has been Sino. All the best, goodbye. <laughs>